what is up guys i am back with another minecraft tutorial and in this video i am going to be rebuilding my very first suburban house because it wasn't explained that well the very first time that i made a tutorial on it so for the exterior it's probably mainly going to be the same as the original but for the interior i'm going to be changing out the layout so we could possibly have more bedrooms and bathrooms because the original build only had two bedrooms and two bathrooms i'm going to possibly try to at least get three or four bedrooms so some of the other features of the house include a large balcony at the back side of the house as well as a large pool in the backyard but now it, let's go ahead and get right into building it. Okay, so if you want just the house, then you're going to be paying attention to that inner rectangle. And from left to right, you're going to need 56 blocks. And from front to back, you're going to need 32 then if you want everything around the house which includes the front and backyard then you're going to be paying attention to the entire rectangle and from left to right you're still only going to need 56 blocks but then from front to back you're going to need 82. so the space at the front is going to be everything for the front yard so in between the two lines you should have 28 blocks of grass then the space at the back is going to be everything for the backyard so in between the two lines you should have 20 blocks of grass okay so the blocks we're going to be using just for right now is going to be some pillar quartz light gray concrete gray concrete white stained glass panes quartz stairs dark oak planks tripwire hooks and dark oak fences Okay, so here in part one, I'm probably going to bring up all of the walls for the first floor of the house. And as you can see, I'm currently at the front side of the shape. We always start at the front side of the house. I'm going to head over here to the inner shape because this is the shape for the house. Over here to the right side, you could go to the corner right here and count towards the back nine blocks. One, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine now you want to go towards the left so you're on top of the grass and you can place a block of pillar quartz so let's just leave it at this for right now this is going to mark out where the house is actually going to start this is the front right side of the house this section here are where the garage the garage doors are so i'll go back above and just make sure to have that marked out exactly where it is all right now you can switch to your light gray concrete go to the left side of this pillar and place two then go ahead and skip over five one two three four five then go over one more block place two skip over five again one two three four five go over one more and place three so this is going to be a garage door and this is going to be another garage door. So just to mark them out, let's go ahead and just grab our dark oak planks. We're going to go in one block so they're corner to corner. And we're going to place five blocks of dark oak planks in between these empty spaces. Just one block behind the light gray concrete. Alright, there we go. Now let's head on over to that section where we placed three. We're going to go all the way to the left of it. We're going to place one light gray concrete block. I'm going to change it up from the original build because what I'm about to do is going to be better than what I had over there. So what I had over there was just another light gray concrete block. And then I had the porch. Doesn't really make sense. So what we're going to do is just have a pillar quartz block here. So just bring out one light gray concrete and then a pillar quartz block. We're going to go to the left of that. And then we're going to place another 28 light gray concrete blocks one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight now you can switch back to your pillar quartz block place it right there in the corner 
So this section right here is going to be where the front porch is. Then once again, the garage area is over there. We have like a little bathroom that juts out over here to the left. Make sure you just have it looking like this so far. All right, now let's head back over where we left off, all the way here to the left side behind this pillar quartz block. Switch to your light gray concrete. You could place two more behind it. Go to the left and place another six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you can switch back to your pillar quartz block and place one. You should be right on the edge of the plot size here. Now behind is this pillar quartz block. You can place another eight light gray concrete. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to your pillar quartz, place one. Now we could go in towards this direction and place another seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so like I said, that is going to be the little piece that juts out for the bathroom on the first floor of the house. From up above at the front side, this is what you should have so far. Okay, now I'm looking at the shape that we made so far from the back side. I'm going to head on over here where we left off. Going to go right behind this block and I'm going to place another 7 light gray concrete. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You can then switch to your pillar. Place one here in the corner. Now you want to go over to the left 28 blocks so it matches the front. So I'm not going to count it. I'm just going to bring it straight across 28. Should meet up with the front side right here. Then you can switch to your pillar quartz block. Place one so it's aligned up with the front. Switch back to your light gray concrete and place another six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now you could go to the left side of that. We'll just bring this straight across until we're lined up with the gray concrete at the front. So we'll go ahead and count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Switch back to your pillar quartz block, place one right here in the corner so it's matched up with the front. Then you can fill in the remaining space in between these pillars with more light gray concrete. So if we go back up to the front, look above, this is what we have so far. This is like the main foundation of the house. It doesn't include the back balconies and the front porch. This is just the main part of the house itself. Okay, so I'm going to make another adjustment to the new build. It's going to make it look better. So actually, you can see here, if you look at this window, you got this these quartz stairs. They're like right on top of each other. I want to always have one block of space in between the stairs and the window. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to add another eight layers of pillar quartz on top of all of the corners that we already made. So I'm going to go on top of all of these corners, add another eight layers of pillar quartz. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. At the original build, we would have only added seven, but just so we can make it look better, we're going to add eight. So I'm going to go around and do that to the rest of the pillars that we marked out. Okay, I went around and added another 8 layers on top of those pillar quartz blocks, so they are now at 9 in total. So it should look like this. We'll go ahead and start filling in all of this space in, in between the pillars now, which includes like the windows, the garage doors here, we have the front door, and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get on to doing it. Okay, I'm going to start at the garage door side. You can switch to your dark oak planks, and we're going to add another five layers on top of the planks that we already have, so it's six in total. One, two, three, four, and five. We'll do the same here. Okay, now let's go on the fourth layer, so we have one, two, three, three and four 
we're gonna carve out three blocks on this layer and this is going to be the window so you could grab your white stained glass panes and add it three then you could grab your tripwire hook put it down at the bottom in the middle to act as the handle for the door okay now Let's go ahead and switch to our light gray concrete. We're going to fill in the rest of the space around the garage doors until we bring it up to the same height as the pillars. You want to make sure to fill in the space behind this pillar as well. Okay, now let's go ahead and add one extra block of light gray concrete in the corners to kind of add a round shape above the garage doors. So this is what they look like. Let's head on over to the right wall here. We're going to have a window that is two blocks wide and four blocks in height. So make sure you still have your light gray concrete and place three on each side right next to the pillars. We'll bring this all the way up to the same height as the pillars. Okay, then you could go ahead and switch to your light gray concrete. We're going to place one, two, three, four, five on each side. Then we'll have two upside down quartz stairs at the top and then your white stained glass panes. Now let's finish adding the rest of the layers of light gray concrete. All right, there we go. So this is the garage door side. And then we have a window off to the right. So keep in mind, this is the garage. So there's only gonna be one block in between like the ground and then this window, there's one layer here. For everywhere else around the house, there's going to be two layers. But in this case, since it is the garage, it's going to be at ground level. There's just going to be one block here. So keep that in mind. Now here at the back side, we're going to have two more windows like that. Switch to your light gray concrete, place two. Then your gray, place one, skip two, place one. Skip back to your light, or uh, switch back to your light gray concrete and place four. Back to your gray, place one, skip two, place one. Then three extra blocks of light gray. All right, we'll just leave that empty for now. Let's go ahead and bring up the rest of these windows. So another four layers on top of those blocks that we placed. Then two upside down quartz stairs at the top edge. White stained glass panes in the rest of the empty space. And then light gray concrete around all of these windows to fill in the rest of the wall. Alright, so and now we have the garage area done. This is just like, this actually only goes up one floor. The other side also only goes up one floor. The only section of the house that is two stories is the middle section. Now when I did the original build, there was a bunch of empty space up here that I actually didn't use. So in this new version of this build, I'm going to be using the attic space up here because that'll definitely add a lot more space to the house. We can add a big bedroom here because at the other one, it was a really, really small bedroom. So we'll be able to add more there. And then over here, we might not be able to actually use this space. It might be too small. If anything, we could possibly have a bathroom in the attic above this section here. But I might not. It just depends on how the layout is. But for now, just make sure this is what the house looks like. We just brought up that section so far. All right, let's do the front middle section now. So make sure you have your light gray concrete. We'll head over here next to the right pillar. And we're going to place 12 to the left of it going in towards that direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's do the same on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we're going to be left with a four block wide 
or like yeah four block wide opening which is going to be for the front door to the building to the house okay now we'll head back over here next to this pillar we'll bring this light gray concrete up next to it you can switch to your gray concrete place one skip over two place one skip over two place one skip over two and place one all right bring these all up another four layers so that they are five in total let's do the same on this side so one layer of light gray concrete next to that gray skip two gray skip two gray skip two gray bring these up another four okay let's switch to our court stairs place them upside down just in between these two spaces this is actually going to be light gray concrete in the middle so that is a window and that is a window let's do the same at this side All right, then for the rest of the space around the windows to finish filling in the wall, we're going to have light gray concrete. Okay, so at the front side of the house for the middle section, it is looking like this for now. All right, now at the left side of the house, this is going to be the area where the bathroom is on the first floor. Make sure you have your light gray concrete. We'll fill in all of the space behind this pillar. Then we just wanna add one extra layer of light gray concrete on top of the bottom layer that we already had. Cause like I said, remember, there's going to be two layers here. Then our window over here at the garage, there's only one layer than our window. Okay, now we'll go ahead and add one extra layer next to these pillars on every side. Okay, now let's go ahead and add one extra layer right up against this wall here at the front. And then we're going to have a window. So light gray concrete, one, two, three, four, five on each side, upside down quartz stairs white stained glass panes and two extra layers of light gray all right we'll go to this side we'll fill in one extra space so that this window is the same so right here and here one two three four so it's five in total upside down quartz stairs two layers of light gray then white stained glass panes And then we got this last wall. We'll go ahead and fill in two spaces here, bring it up to the same height as all of the other walls. And then we're going to have the same window that we had at the front. All right. There we go. So now we have this section here for the bathroom. There's a lot of windows for it, but I think it'll be okay. If anything, if you guys don't want any windows in your bathroom, all you have to do is just have this like a solid wall of light gray instead. What I like to think of these as though, maybe they're like tinted or like frosted windows. I know I have a bathroom in my window or i have a what the heck i have a bathroom in my window i have a window in my bathroom and it's like frosted you can't see through it you can't really like see out of it so um yeah you can think of these as that but anyway if anything you could just delete the windows if you don't want them but i'll go back up to the front side from up above this is what it looks like so far we'll go ahead and bring up the rest of the walls here at the back side and we'll leave it at that for part one Okay, now I'm at the back side of the build. I'll head over here to the right first. This is like where we left off. This is the bathroom area. 
So we'll go up against this wall. We're gonna place one layer of light gray concrete. Go up against this pillar and place two. Then we're gonna have a window here. Oh, first, make sure to add one extra layer of light gray here at the bottom. Then you can have a window. Just the same design that we've done everywhere else, two blocks wide, a total of four blocks in height with is the glass, but the light, but the gray is actually five. Then we have light gray here on the top. All right. Now let's head back here. Before we do anything, let's add our one extra layer of light gray at the bottom. Now for this wall here, it's going to be completely filled in with light gray. We actually don't have a window here. Okay, now here at the back side, we're going to match it up to the front. I'll head over here to the left, up against this pillar, we'll add one layer. Switch to your gray concrete, place one, skip two, place one, skip two, place one, skip two, place one. We'll do the same on this side, a layer of light gray concrete. So one, skip two, one, skip two, one, skip two, one. Then let's add one extra layer of light gray concrete next to that. And we gotta delete four blocks here so we can have our back door still. All right, now let's go ahead and bring up all of these windows and add our extra light gray concrete around them. So one, two, three, four. So it's gonna match up to the front. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. And then, yeah, like I said, that is going to be it for part one. Okay, I'm finishing up these windows, and before we forget, we still have to do the front and back door. So we'll do that, and then that'll be it for part one. So in part two, um, you know what, maybe here in part one we could still... Yeah, in part two we'll probably finish like the main exterior of the house, and then we'll have like the front and back uh, deck and the landscaping for part three. So yeah, let's go ahead and do the front and back door, and then that'll be it for this video. So for the front door, we'll go ahead, make sure you have your white stained glass panes. As soon as we do this door, it's gonna be the same for the back door. So we'll go up here to the right, place four, go to the left, place four. We'll curve out the bottom one and the two at the top. Fill in the empty space with a dark oak fence and upside down court stairs. Then three extra layers of light gray concrete. Okay, go to the back and we'll do the same thing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Curve out these ones. Then a dark oak fence, upside down court stairs, three extra layers of light gray concrete. Okay, the only thing that I'm kind of like that I'm like thinking about changing is the height of the windows so that the house itself isn't so tall because if we make these windows just three blocks in height we'll be able to cut down one layer all the way around the top then the overall height of the house won't be as tall but I don't know I think it'll be fine yeah we'll just leave the windows the same height that they are at the original build all we had to do is add one extra layer there at the top which isn't on that one, so that the windows aren't like right on top of the roof, as you can see right there. That is the only thing I changed. I just added like one extra layer at the top. But yeah, guys, that is going to be it for part one. All right, guys, so that is going to be it for part one for this tutorial on how to build my very first suburban house tutorial. So if this did help you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part two. Later.